Hi everyone. I wanted to share a couple of things with you that I got at Rite Aid today. Um, if you've seen any of my videos, I think my very first video was a Rite Aid haul. You know that I love Rite Aid, Walgreens. I'm just a drugstore aholic. No, I'm not an aholic. I just really like it. Um, anyways, I got a few things that I'm pretty excited about and I wanted to share them with you before they go off sale. Um, the first thing that I got was something that I've been looking for for a while and that's actually what I was looking for was this one. And again, I don't know if you guys can actually see it in there. So I'll read it to you, but I want to show it to you just in case. And the brand is got to be, it's G-O-T, the number two and the letter B. Um, and they carry all kinds of stuff. You can get it, usually you can get this kind of same um, brand at Target. I think you can get it at Walmart, but they seem to me, to my Walmart and Target anyways, to carry um, a lot less of the line. Rite Aid today, the one that I was at, had a ton of it. I mean, it, they just had pretty much everything I think that they carry. This is called Guardian Angel, and it's a 425 degree heat protectant and a blow, it's a blowout lotion to help with glossing your hair when you're blow drying it. Um, and it came with a free little one of the flat iron um i don't know what they call it Gl they call it a gloss finish flat iron balm that's what it is and the other one is the blowout lotion i'll just read to you what they say on the back really quick so that you can see what they're supposed to do uh this blow dry pre-styling spray that's the big one there um shields your locks and enhances manageability to provide smooth flexible style and divinely luminous shine effects it's heaven on earth for hair i saw a review done on this by someone else i believe her name is tiffany i can't think of her channel right now but i will let you know um and she has super straight hair like me mine's getting a little less straight the older i get which is very odd to me Anyhow, she uses this on a daily basis or on a regular basis when blow drying her hair and seems to really like it. So I wanted to try it because I'm having a hard time with, I don't know if you can see it, but flyaways and frizzies and strange things. And then the other one, I kind of got that one for both myself and mainly my daughter to try, the flat iron balm, um, because that one says that it's supposed to. This flat iron straightening balm moisturizes and insulates your hair from flat iron frying to provide long lasting sleek frizz free locks with luminous shine effects. Forget the styling sins of the past, your hair is flat out invincible now. So that is a heat protectant and it's supposed to smooth at the same time. So I'm excited about those. Those were $6.49 for both of them. Um, and that's a, a good size trial. I mean, it's not a little tiny thing. You know what? This may actually be a full size. I'm sorry. I don't know, but I will find out and put that in the description box below for you. Um, kind of tearing it out. It is a three fluid ounce. So we'll find out if that's the full size or not. The next thing that I found were the prestige eyeliners were buy one, get one half off. Um, so I got two, I got a black one and then I got a purple one. The purple one's called masquerade number 79 and it just says eyeliner so it's not you know anything fancy and i swatched them there for you sorry about the lighting it's really really dismal and dreary out today so there's like no sun i have all my lights on but that doesn't always help anyhow that's the masquerade yeah and the other one's just a basic black eyeliner they're pretty smooth um for a pencil they're not they don't drag you know they're not hard they are a coal eyeliner so I'm excited about trying out those. I'm always looking for a good basic eyeliner, you know, when you don't really want to use like a, um, when I'm not in the mood to mess with gel liner or liquid liner, just throw it on and go. Um, the other one that I got was this, and I've had this actually before, and it's called Styly Style, I think. Yeah, S-T-Y-L-I Style. And it is, um, what do they say it is? It's a liquid liner and the color is blackest black number 501, but it is a felt tip. And it's not, I'm gonna have to mess up my finger, but it's not hard. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not a hard, stiff felt tip. I've, I've had some of those and you just almost feel like you're gonna rip your eye off. <laughs> um, it's not waterproof, it is waterproof. Sorry, I've used this before and I absolutely love it. I can get the perfect 
line with it. I'm gonna test it again because when I used it last, it was probably about a year and a half ago, and I didn't try it out as far as um, seeing if it kind of, sometimes liquid liners will um, kind of cake up and almost flake off after they dry, or um, they'll be super shiny, which is really annoying. I mean, I know that you can go over it with a powder, but sometimes they'll even still be really shiny and look very odd. So I'll let you know about that. And then I wanted to show you um, also this Wet n Wild eye makeup remover that I got. It was $1.99 for three fluid ounces and it's oil free. So I'm gonna try that out and let you know. I have um, oily skin like I've told you before. I break out easy as you can see. I'm trying new things on my face right now and I'm kind of having a moment. Anyway, um, I break out pretty easy so I try to get a lot of oil free products, um, but I'm not real trusting that this is going to work because I know that olive oil really takes my makeup off very quickly but it doesn't break my face out and I've been using that but I kind of wanted to have something I could throw in my bag and just kind of go with it as opposed to a big bottle of olive oil or even putting I just don't want to carry olive oil so I've got that and then um these I didn't get today I got them a while back but I just kind of want to show them to you because they're along the same lines of the other two eyeliners that I got these are lip liners, and they're the Prestige brand, which is what the two um, pencil liners are. And uh, these are waterproof. I got these at Ulta, and I showed them to you before, but I just kind of wanted to repeat it because I love them. I, I didn't come back and tell you that what I thought of them. I absolutely love them. They're waterproof. They, go, they just cream glide right on, but they don't fall right off. Like a lot of times a cream lip liner will just kind of go away quickly. Um, these seem to stay in place really well, and they are waterproof, so I like that a lot. And then the other one that I got, well, the two that I got the first time, I, if you haven't seen the other video, was this one is in Mocha, and I'll just try to swatch it there for you. Hopefully you can see it. That one's Mocha, and the other one is called Plummy. And it's just kind of a plum color. Really like that. And the other one that I have is one that I've had for quite a while, and it's called uh, Love. I got this back in the summer. And this one is not a waterproof. It's just their regular lip liner, and I think that's why the packaging is a different color. But this one is like a hot pink. Swatch that there for you. Um, really pretty. So this actually stays on quite well, too. I've never had any problem with that disappearing or, you know, whatever. And then one other thing I wanted to show you was this that I did not get today. I've showed you this before. I think I kind of went over it um, in another video. I can't quite remember which one. I'll link that in the bottom bar. But I wanted to tell you about it because I love it. I mean, as you can see, um, where is that? There, I've already hit pan on that one. I thought I wouldn't like this because I thought they would be kind of cheap and chalky, but it's the e.l.f. brand, uh, Eyes, Lips, Face, that they sell over in the U.K., I think that's where the company actually is. Um, normally you have to just order these online over here because they only sell them in our Target once in a while. The Target that I have. I'm not sure about your Target. I think some of them carry them more often. But these they put out for Christmas and this is only five dollars. I have only two problems with this thing. Number one, I hate this page thing here. I know what it's for. I'm thinking about just taking it out because it's just for me. I just use it at home. Um, but it won't stay over here. It just keeps doing that. It's very annoying. And then the other only thing I don't like is this shadow right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That's the only chalky shadow that I found. But again, if you just put a cream eyeshadow on or a, um, an eyeliner for a base and put it on, it stays on pretty well. The other eyeshadows are really good. They're, they're good. They're very pigmented. Um, they stay on. They're not chalky. I don't think I totally swatched the wrong one. Yeah, of course. Um, they're just really good eyeshadows. It's a good range of colors. I've been grabbing this more often than I thought I would. Just for a quick, you know, day-to-day um, -day look, I've just been grabbing that. Um, I've been using it a lot for good highlight colors. I've been using it for 
a lot of things. I love the wine color in there. So I just wanted to let you know in case your Target only carries them for Christmas, you might want to run over there and grab a few because they are, first of all, really good for yourself. And second of all, they're only five bucks, so it's a good gift or stocking stuffer. And they have larger ones that are $10. Uh, they have a lot more shadows in them. This one came with a small eyeliner that I wasn't too fond of. It was very hard, dry pencil, um, but it was a brown color and it came with just the two ended applicator which I just threw away because I, I use brushes I don't use those so I wanted to let you know about that and then my other little funny thing that I got at Rite Aid today that was on sale um were these and they're little fuzzy socks and they were one dollar I mean you know can't go wrong with that so these are for me because you know I have to be goofy and wear my red and green socks but they're those really soft um I don't know what you call that almost felt like feeling socks and these are for my daughter, cute little pink and white ones. And then these are for my son, blue and white and silver. Yeah, gray, whatever. Anyway, so those were a dollar each, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I think that was all that I had to tell you. Um, I was just going to let you know what my next video is going to be on. I was thinking about it earlier today, and I kind of wanted to do um, start a series of my sister asked for had some suggestions for videos that she would like for me to do. So the first one that I'm going to do is a series, um, but I'm going to start it kind of different. The first one in the series is not going to be necessarily what the rest of the series is strictly on. You'll understand more when I record it, um, so I won't waste time explaining it now. But anyways, uh, the first video I'm going to do is going to be about your everyday makeup. A fast easy way to do your everyday makeup so that you don't feel like you have to just not wear makeup because you don't have time. I know a lot of people are single moms, they are um, working moms, they are um, just all kinds of reasons why we just don't have time to get up and spend an hour, hour and a half doing makeup every day. The only reason that I go through all this every day is because number one, I like doing it and I, I don't actually do it every day either. I don't always have time to sit and do all that, you know, contouring and highlighting and blah, blah. The only reason that I do it on a more frequent basis is because I really like doing it, number one. Number two, I'm doing it because I'm trying to practice and learn to make this a profession so that I can do it on other people. So I don't want you to think that this is what I'm expecting out of, or you know, even saying that everyone else should do, it isn't. And so I kind of wanted to back up and do just a real quick fast face. Um, you can kind of throw this on and feel put together and presentable and like you, you know, you, you don't feel like you just got up and had to brush your hair and run out the door or start your daily chores because you didn't have time to do anything to yourself. And it's not necessarily just about this looking a certain way for somebody else. It's for your own benefit. Because I know that when I have time to put makeup on and fix my hair a little bit and put on something decent, I just feel better about myself. And so the series is really going to be about feeling better about yourself um, through the use of products like makeup, um, hair products, that kind of stuff. So I just want to be able to help other women feel better about their self on a daily basis as opposed to only when you have time to sit down and do a two hour face full of makeup. So hopefully that will be helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, and I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and I hope that you're having a great day and I look forward to all of your comments and um, I think that's it for now, so I'll talk to you soon, and I'll probably will record that video, I would say, tomorrow. So it should be up by Friday or Saturday. So have a great day. Thank you, everyone.